Hello you guys, Bazza PC here today, and this is my DX Tori uh, settings that I do use uh, for most of my games now, except when I'm recording for montage clips, I will generally use Fraps for commentaries and all that. I will generally use DX Tori as it's a lot smoother program to use, um, in my opinion, and for, and for me in general. I don't know why. But anyway guys, as you can see, um, what I like about DX Tori is that it has a lot more customization than Fraps. As you can see, I've got Fraps open here. It only has a few basic settings, your FPS, half size, full size, the buffer thing, all this, uh, screenshots, FPS, all that kind of crap. Um, what I like about DX Story is that I can rec I can play it 1920 by 1080, but then I can also get it downgraded. What it can convert it, and I don't have to do anything to 1280 by 720, which I find interesting. Yet I still don't do it. I just generally play it 1280 by 720. Um, in most cases, um, depends on what game it is. If it's like a really old game, I don't really need to. But if it's like a sort of newish game, I sort of need to. It really depends on the settings I'm playing at. Um, I only do have a 560, which is probably I would say the most use graphics card at the moment and what most companies are aiming for is their recommended thing, uh, recommended GPU. Um, so as you can see I'm using the Lagerif lossless codec. This gives you slightly smaller files than uh, Fraps and if you want to see a quality test between Fraps and this codec um, you can go check, I'll put a link in the description or I'll put an annotation on the screen you'll be able to see that. Um, but this gives you a lot more options. Uh, you, um, always record using the YV12 uh, version that's what I use. Um, also, if you have, I'm um, generally most computers now have uh, either dual core, or quad core. Generally, they don't have one core anymore. Uh, but always uh, select use multi threading. Um, that will make it a lot more uh, make sharing of the uh, recording processes. Blah blah blah, crap easier. Um, also, if you go to here, you can limit your FPS to 60. I generally do because that's what I record at. Um, so that's what I try and do, just record at 60. Uh, make sure your processing threads is generally at how many you've got, as that's going to spread, uh, these are your threads here, your cores. Um, it's generally going to spread, uh, the process along, um, along all the cores, making it for a lot smoother experience, rather than just recording on, recording on the one, uh, the one core. And, uh, also we've got the audio settings here, which is, uh, I, I've got my speakers, so generally, I do play off my speakers if I'm talking to people, because then I don't get their voices in the background. So what I've got is my headset on now, my mic, and then if I want to record and talk to my friends at the same time, generally I'd have to leave, but because I've got my uh, surround sound speaker system, I just change my uh, Windows 7 output to uh, the speakers and have all communication go through the mic and headset, which is uh, my really great addition. Uh, and just helps out a lot. You can also do fraps. Um, I might do a little tutorial on that later if you guys want to. Um, but as you can see, guys, using the Lagerif codec I think is a lot easier than uh, fraps as the files are slightly smaller. Uh, but in the end, I would generally use DX Tori for commentaries or long videos, say 5 to 10 minutes. And fraps if I'm going for montage clips, like I will be for my Battlefield 3 montage at the end of the year. So, guys, uh, comment if you want any more help. Um, also, subscribe for, for more. Awesome content and other bullshit that people promise you. I don't know what the hell I'm going to promise you. But anyway, guys, if you want to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe, and do all that kind of shit, Bowser off. See you guys.